One thing is for sure, I know how much you guys love nostalgia and old smartphones. So, I actually went to eBay and found one that you guys are really gonna like. It's from 2011, the Samsung Galaxy S2. Only the second Galaxy S series to ever be released. Pretty cool. Oh, by the way, I got an injury here pulling hair out of my sister's drain. This isn't the prettiest model I could find because it's got sticky stuck on the back. Considering it's used and it's 12 years old, I think it's actually looking pretty good. Although. It is pretty banged up. Good thing I only paid like $30 for it. As I was saying, the Galaxy S2 was released in 2011 and actually competed with the iPhone 4S. What's really unique about this model right here is it's actually the T-Mobile version. You'll notice in the video just about everything is the same other than a few minor differences. One of those being the T-Mobile version does not have a home button, which is a bit odd, but hey, it still works. Don't worry, we'll take a look at the home button, but first we need to power this thing on. Oh yeah, look, the Galaxy S2 by T-Mobile. Huh. Oh yeah, that, that jingle definitely sounds like something from 2011. Now, once the phone is powered on, it looks pretty cool. You've got this pink explosion of a home screen. The screen on this is 4.52 inches, and it's got a Super AMOLED Plus display with a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels. It came with stock Android 2.3, but they updated all the way up to Android 4.1.2, as you can see here. You gotta love the Easter egg, especially with Android Jelly Bean. Oh yes. Now, back to the home button on this version. Well, there wasn't a home button. You just had these navigation keys that make this nostalgic noise that we're all so familiar with. Ugh, gotta love it. Also, this version has a concerningly low amount of space. Why so little space? Well, stay tuned, it'll make sense later in the video, I promise. Looking at the charge port makes me wonder, how many times has this been plugged in to charge? I love to see these old smartphones that are just beat to heck. Now, the S2 had TouchWiz UI, and I'll show you some of the features of that, but I just want you guys to take a look at these old applications. Pure shots of nostalgia. Now, if you hold down on the application and just tilt the phone left or right, that's one feature of TouchWiz where you can actually drop the application just by leaning your phone to the left or right and putting it on the screen you want. That's so cool. Also, this version of the S2 came with Asphalt 6 pre-installed to the phone, which is good stuff if you ask me. We'll test that game in a minute, but first I want to see if we could get YouTube to load. OG YouTube. Yeah, I'm nah, just kidding. There was a problem loading YouTube. Classic. Classic. What about Netflix? Nope. Netflix doesn't work either. Are there any applications you could use on the S2 in 2024? Well, don't worry. I'll show you guys some good ones. One of them is actually Gmail. You can log into Gmail on the S2. So if you're looking to send off some emails on the S2, you could do that. But one of the best applications that works is Asphalt 6, baby. Asphalt 6 actually runs like a charm. Well, you do have to first install some files, a full 0.5 gigabytes. But once you do that, this baby runs as smooth as butter, dude. The phone has a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S3 processor, which is perfecta mundo for playing Asphalt 6. Now, I myself did not own a Samsung Galaxy S2, but if there's anyone watching this video who did and played some Asphalt 6, please comment below because I'd love to hear how your experience was. Okay, other than that announcer sounding a bit kooky, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the graphics, the screen resolution, and we'll see how the game plays, and I'll give you a final verdict on this 2011 gaming experience. Oh shoot, we're about to start, and I'm rocking the Audi, let's see. Okay, you hold down on the screen, and then you tilt left or right, and the phone to the game, like, responsiveness is really good. Uh, I'm actually about to finish the match right here. And this right here, the elimination feature with the slow-mo backflip of my opponent. And coming in second place. Let's go, dude. Wow, I, I'm all about this. This is good stuff. Now, most of the apps don't work, but these utility applications do work, and they're pretty fun. Now, you've got your standard calculator application. You know, 5 times 5 is 25. And then if you add 3 to that, you get 28. Okay, if you subtract 9 from that, you get 19 plus 10. What is that? That's my age. You've also got this high-tech voice command application, and when you tap and speak to it, open internet. 
It doesn't give you any results. Okay, search, why do humans live so far up north? All right, let's try that. Why do humans live so far up north? Okay, we get it, the servers are down. Let's try Memo. It's it's basically Android's version of notes for, for Apple. Just, just for taking essential notes. Ender smells like a chili hot dog. Okay, I love that. Spam the comments with Ender smells like chili hot dogs. All right, let's go. Wait a minute. Hey Hadoop, would you be... What is this memo? I never took that. Hey Hadoop, would you be able to take my shift Monday night? Okay. I don't think the last person who owned this phone cleared their data. Then you've got my diary, which is similar to memo, but you could take a photo and make a journal entry based on that photo. Today was cool. Look, my hand. Oh, this will be good to look back on. I love this. No, but really. It's almost like Apple just stole this idea. Now, the camera on this phone is very, very impressive. So, the back camera is 8 megapixels, right? Well, when I test the photos here, you guys will be thoroughly impressed, so stay tuned for that. I really need to start going outside and taking some of these photos, just because there's a lot of beautiful scenery here in Utah. But for now, we're gonna stick to the Xbox wireless controller. Tap and hold at two points, then tilt the device back and forth to zoom in or out. That That is interesting. Okay, we're holding two points, leaning forward and backwards, but no, no zoom. Well... What if we just... Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let's try this again. Okay, leaning forward, leaning... Oh, oh, I saw some zoomage there. But it's it's a bit hard to control. I don't know... There we go. Let's just use our fingers to pinch and zoom. I like that. A again, thoroughly impressed by this camera. Look at the zoom quality. We're talking 8 megapixels here. Buddy, this is... This looks great. Okay, let's review some of these photo... Wait, uh, okay... Wait, who... Who are these cute children? I don't, I don't know these cute ch Okay, let's go, let's go back to the Xbox controller. It looks fantastic. The quality on these are absolutely amazing. Thoroughly impressed by the camera. A and look at the zoomage here. The zoomage is amazing. Okay, so there's a lot of photos on this phone. And what's really cool is I found this, this building here. And when I go to the date, I can see that it goes back to 2012. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Just just goes to say, if you're gonna sell your phone online, be sure to erase everything on the phone, because John Zoid is probably gonna buy it, and I don't want to see your stuff. So per usual, a lot of the applications on this phone can't be used. So I really only had one choice: was to get my stockpile of micro SD cards, install one in the SD card slot like they used to have on you know flagship devices, and put back the removable battery cover, which all phones used to have and were so convenient. And then we went to my SD SD card and installed Hungry Shark Evolution. And then something very amazing happened to us next. We played some Hungry Shark Evolution on Android 4, which is absolutely fantastic and run just like it always has. Ugh, th this game is so nostalgic to me and I'm sure there's a lot of viewers out there who feel the same, but if not, comment below what your favorite game was to play back in the Android 4 days of 2011. Uh, th and this game is just so nice. You just, you're a shark that's just tearing it up, eating humans and everything in your path until you grow to a massive shark that can do bigger bigger and better things. It's, it's just a fantastic game. Okay, what game should we go next? We've got Pooh, we've got Minecraft, we've got, you know what? We're gonna go Temple Run. Temple Run's always, yes, Temple Run's always a safe win. I spent an unhealthy amount of time in my teenage years playing Temple Run as well as Doodle Jump and other just mindless games that hit different. And I'm a huge fan of them and absolutely love them. Even when I lose at 12,000 points. I may or may have not spent the next hour and a half at this point in the video playing Temple Run. Also, if you guys wanted to know, the ringtones of this phone, although some are nostalgic, the ones like the T-Mobile T-Jingle are absolutely horrific. Ooh, this one's uh, not, 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 not much better. Please stop. Please stop now. Thank you. Okay, that's bad. All right, and then there's this one. Ooh, road trip. Road trip is nice. I can deal with that. And then, oh, oh no. Okay, these 2012 ring to, hey, there's a normal one. Oh, hey, ugh. All right, 
I don't I don't know how I feel about 2011 ringtones, but they're not good. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you absolutely loved this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, I release videos like this every single Saturday or Sunday. So be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.